A storm is brewing in the Communist Party as the promise of another massive purge looms. Welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. Did you know China spends more on its police force than it does its entire military? That's because the greatest threat to the Chinese Communist Party isn't a foreign invasion, it's unhappy Chinese people. Of course, calling it the police force doesn't really do it justice. I'm talking about the entire internal security apparatus. That includes regular police, secret police, black jails, the whole kid and caboodle. China's internal security is run by a powerful organization called the Political and Legal Affairs Commission, or PLAC. To be clear, the PLAC is part of the Chinese Communist Party, not the Chinese government. But it controls all of the law enforcement in China. And Chinese leader Xi Jinping is about to begin a major purge of the PLAC. That's because later this year will be the 20th Party Congress, the biggest meeting of the Chinese Communist Party. And at that meeting, Xi hopes to make himself presentator for life. So once again, it's time for everyone's favorite communist soap opera, General Hostility. Previously on General Hostility, corruption and purges, Xi Jinping fights for control of the PLAC from his arch nemesis, former Chinese leader and toad eater Jiang Zemin. Millions are purged in Xi Jinping's anti-corruption campaign, and a new wave of purges is about to begin. Former Chinese leader Jiang Zemin used the PLAC to create a stranglehold over China's internal security apparatus. He did that by launching a persecution of the Falun Gong spiritual practice. It's a Buddhist-y Chinese Qigong practice. Like yoga, but less stretchy. But what you need to know is, according to official government estimates, at its height, there were up to 100 million people practicing Falun Gong. More people than were members of the Communist Party. Jiang Zemin felt Falun Gong was a threat. And he convinced the rest of the party there needed to be a crackdown. And he used the crackdown to create a supremely powerful security apparatus that answered only to him and his cronies. And this security apparatus proved very dangerous for Xi Jinping when he came to power in 2012. The head of the PLAC when Xi came to power was a man named Zhou Yang Kong, a close ally of Jiang. He and other top Jiang allies attempted a coup against Xi. They failed. Xi Jinping threw Zhou in prison for life. And even worse, he took away his hair dye. But even after that, Jiang was still powerful enough to get another one of his guys to be the head of the PLAC, Meng Jianju. So, enter Chen Yixin. He's a close ally of Xi. In 2017, Xi got him promoted to a high-ranking position within the PLAC and he announced a purge of corrupt elements within the PLAC. He said, the PLAC teams in the whole country are impure, unjust, and lack executive force. Some members even violate law and discipline. They're bad horses, have bad impact, and have done great damage. Wow, bad horses, what a takedown. Speaking of takedowns, that purge ended up bringing down China's ex-secret police boss, who was a close assistant to former PLAC head Meng Jianju, the Jiang guy. I'd be worried if I were Meng. And now it looks like Chen will be busy enforcing China's new anti-organized crime law. What does organized crime have to do with Xi Jinping purging his political opponents? I'll explain more after the break. Welcome back. So what does China's new anti-organized crime law have to do with Chen Yixin and Xi Jinping's political purge? Simple. Umbrellas. Let me explain. We recently did an episode about a massive Shanghai sex trafficking ring. 
It operated for 20 years. Why didn't police, you know, do something about it? Because top officials were in on it. Really in on it. They're what Chen Yixing calls protective umbrellas. In fact, before he began his massive purge of the PLAC, Chen started with a three-year anti-vice crackdown on criminals and triad societies in China, as well as law enforcement officers who colluded with criminals. In other words, corruption is so bad in China that if you go after organized crime, you'll also have to go after law enforcement officials and members of the PLAC. In that three-year campaign, some 67,000 law enforcement officers who acted as protective umbrellas for criminals were investigated and prosecuted as a result of that crackdown. So with everything riding on the line in this year's 20th Party Congress, it's not surprising that Xi Jinping has passed a new anti-organized crime law. My guess is that Chen Yixin will be spending this year doing a lot more purging of the PLAC. And it looks like Chen's loyalty to Xi will be rewarded. At the Party Congress later this year, many expect him to be promoted into the Politburo, and even made head of the PLAC. Remember, Chen right now is just a high-ranking official within the PLAC, not the actual top dog. It's even possible Chen could conceivably get a super promotion into the Politburo Standing Committee as Central Discipline Inspection Commission head or a central secretariat secretary. In other words, Xi Jinping will have his people in place to fully control China's entire security apparatus, which, remember, is bigger than the Chinese military. And now it's time when I answer questions from you, my loyal 50 Cent Army, fans of the show who support what we do through the crowdfunding website's Patreon or the exclusive social media platform Locals. DPR of DC asks on locals, both Hypnotoad and Pooh have loyal security forces that appear focused on removing each other's allies. Is there a chance general hostility will become a less civil and more pointed grudge match? Now that is a very interesting question. The answer depends on how far down the conspiratorial rabbit hole you want to go. There have been rumors for a long time that the grudge match is already going on. A few months ago, I did an episode about a series of 10 explosions that happened across China in just a week. Some have claimed these are actual attacks carried out by the Jiang faction. That was also a conspiracy theory some were talking about after the massive explosion in Tianjin back in 2015. There were also those coup attempts against Xi Jinping I mentioned earlier. It wouldn't be the first time Jiang had been accused of trying to take down a rival. There were rumors Jiang tried to assassinate his successor, Hu Jintao, back in 2006. According to a Hong Kong media report, Hu was inspecting a naval fleet in Qingdao when some of the ships fired on his ship. The problem is we have no way of proving whether any of this actually happened. But I imagine the more desperate the Jiang faction gets, the more willing they'll be to try desperate measures. Needless to say, the Party Congress in November will be a very interesting time. What's that, Shelley? November is also the U.S. midterm elections. Never mind, November will be a very busy time. Thanks for your question, DPR of DC, and for your support. And thanks to all of you for watching. Consider joining the China Uncensored 50 Cent Army. You'll have a chance to ask me questions on the show, and there are some other cool perks as well. Check out patreon.com slash China Uncensored or chinauncensored.locals.com to learn more. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.